Welcome back to Fairfax Pilates. I'm Brittany. Today's class is going to be core and restore on the foam roller. So we're going to restore all the muscles in your body, restore your alignment, and build core strength. When you're ready, let's begin. We're going to start rolling the lower back first. Place the roller perpendicular behind you. You're going to place your hands on the floor behind the roller and then begin to roll your body backward and forward, making sure not to roll directly over the bones of the spine, but just slightly off center. I tilt my body towards the right and the left to roll the muscles that parallel the spine. You can certainly lift your hips up and push forward and back with your feet, putting more body weight onto the low back. Hands go behind the head now, and we're going to roll the upper back. By opening the elbows wide, we're actually going to move the scapula in a way that will support and protect the spine, so it's okay and safe to roll directly over the center in the upper back. Take your time rolling side to side. Turn right over into the lat here. So one hand stays behind the head and you just simply roll to the side, right under the shoulder blade. And let's of course do both sides. This tends to be an area that is more tender than we anticipate, so be gentle. We're going to scooch down. One of my favorites here is to place this under the back of the neck, right at the bones, the base of the skull there. And uh, just gently nod side to side. This is a great way to prevent uh, the oncoming headache if you've got one. Otherwise, it just gets all the pressure points in the base of the neck. All right, have a seat on the roller. We're going to get into the piriformis. We're going to cross our leg over one side like baby figure four and then we're going to just gently rock forward and backward there rolling if you had on a pair of very short shorts imagine that you're rolling to the leg of the short and all the way up toward the waist this can be very uncomfortable for most so if you prefer you can just rock side to side here right over that hip joint Just a reminder, we're never going for pain here. We're certainly going for a bit of discomfort, but the intention of foam rolling is simply to surge a lot of oxygen and blood to the fascia so that it begins to regenerate. It's gonna alleviate uh, soreness and uh, start to um, break down any scar tissue we may have. We're going to place the roller behind the leg now. So choose one of the legs and we're going to put it under the lower leg. Notice that my foam roller is off to the side so my free leg has the opportunity to be on the ground. We are skewering so let's keep rotating the leg so we roll the inside and also the outside of the lower leg here. If you need to reposition how you're sitting to get the entire leg, please do that. You can add on by putting the weight of the second leg onto the first and simply dialing the leg side to side. <clears throat> Bring the leg um, onto the roller, onto the, the hamstring portion of the, of the leg, and we're rep uh, replicating that same skewer sensation, that side to side rotation. The cats came in to say hello. All right, we're gonna do the second leg in the same way. So starting with the lower leg and we're just doing that rotational sort of skewering with our leg to get the inner and the outer portion of the leg. And you can add the second foot to add the weight of the leg. You don't have to put a lot of pressure down. The weight of the leg should do the job. Bringing it up to the upper thigh. And we're gonna repeat that same skewer sensation here. Pause 
amazing if any spot feels overly tender. Alright, so now we're going to go into the inner thigh Spider-Man style here. So you're going to be on your tummy with your leg thrown up over the roller, kind of like maybe it was a pillow, and you're just weight shifting right and left. I'm on my forearms here so I can get a lot of mobility. Try straightening the leg to change that sensation through the adductors and just go right on top of it to get the other side. The leg that's up on the roller, we certainly want to have that leg relaxed. So try not to flex the foot, just let it hang. And then maybe you want to try with the straight leg as well. Okay. So now we're going to go on to the quads, just a natural progression here. So staying prone, we're going to go on to our forearms. Open the legs rather wide, and we're doing that same skewering where we're simply twisting both feet towards the right, and moving forward and back, and then both feet <clears throat> towards the left, and again, forward and back. We have four muscles across the front side, why they're called quads, so rotating them ensures we get all the muscles. All right. The most forgotten here in our foam rolling sequence is to do the anterior tibialis, which is the front of our shin. So placing the hands on the ground. And the tip here is the lighter you lift your body, the lighter it is on the front of those shins. So get a little core work in as you're lifting the tummy up to drag the roller in towards the top of the ankles. From here, we're going to transition into the core section of our class today. You're going to have a seat on the roller near the front edge so that when you lay down, you want to make sure that you have room on the roller for your head and the tail. Find yourself in the center. The foam roller should align directly with the spine. Okay, once you're situated, we're going to make sure that we are balanced and then we're going to draw the legs up tabletop moving right into our uh, single leg march. Just toe tapping and toe tapping with the legs. Extend those legs out straight for a more challenge with the lower abs, single leg stretch here. And we're just lifting the legs straight up here, bending and extending the legs. This one is more challenging than it might appear we're going to keep drawing the tummy down, belly button towards the ground, especially as we extend our legs up straight toward the ceiling. Reminder to focus on what is not moving here to maintain the balance. Going right into a scissor, one leg down and then the other up. Let's really focus on the lifting leg here to engage all the abdominal muscles. Next, we're going to go into uh, a little bit of a bicycle action. So one leg goes straight out while the other bends, and we do it slowly and intentionally, scooping with the toe of the foot, and we reverse it, maintaining that upper body flexion, trying to really extend the leg up toward the ceiling, feeling the hamstring length along with the core strength. Next, we will place the feet down and transition into an upper body flexion. Feet grounded, and we're doing a lateral bend side to side with each of the fingertips trying to reach for the leg. Maintaining your balance. Concentrate on the not moving body parts to really stabilize your body over the foam roller. And now let's go ahead and send our arms behind us all the way forward, one with uh, all the way forward with one arm and the opposite arm reaching behind for some scissors. Notice if you feel any lumps on around the shoulder blades. And now just an ab prep forward flexion here, sort of reaching our fingertips towards the tops of the legs so that we not only go forward but we try to lift just a little. All 
Alright, let's place the hands behind the head, staying in the upper curl, and we're just adding a rotation, really thinking ribs, cage, and up is where the twist occurs. Side to side. Alright, balancing here. We're going to flex forward here just a few times, keeping our body nice and stable. And then we will come up and we're going to hold our position. One leg up to tabletop. And now we're going to rotate toward one side. Think obliques here. Leg out, rotate away from the bending knee, and then we go up and across. And of course, on the other side, we do about eight to 10 of these. We're really challenging the obliques to maintain our balance on the foam roller. And now we're gonna do a graceful dismount, which is just to gently take your body to the side of the roller and onto the ground. And we will wrap things up for today with some back extension, laying prone. We're going to uh, extend the arms forward and let the forearms be on the uh, foam roller. And then we are simply using our back extensor muscles to rise into back extension while leaving our legs grounded. Inhale, we rise, and then exhale to return back towards the ground. I'm gonna repeat that just a couple of times, really drawing the shoulder blades down away from the ears as we lift, and then relaxing as we roll forward. This will become our rocking swan. So still maintaining the extension of the spine as we lower the chest, the legs rise. Exhale, legs up, inhale, chest up. So we wanna just work everything on the posterior chain, everything from our head to our heels, facing the ceiling, everything is working. And then let's just hold that lift and go through a little swimming motion. Just engage those glutes a rhythmic breath and then we're gonna just little beats here point two three four flex two three four inhale point exhale flex and then let's go ahead and take a little lift and then we're gonna slow release all the way down little side to side with those bent knees just to relax the back there and open it up and then let's come back into a shell stretch. Tucking the toes under to stretch the foot and the fascia. We round our backs and we have made it. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed today's class. Don't forget to like this video. And if you'd like to see more like this, make sure you leave us a comment, share with a friend. Have an amazing day, everyone. See you next time.